Okay, welcome along guys. Thank you very much for tuning into us. Um, today we're going to be looking at what is in my kit bag. What do I have in my bag on race weekends? What do I wear? Why do I wear it? Anything else cool going on? Tune in, let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I'm going to try and put them like here or, or here somewhere, maybe here. I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, so bear with. But if you haven't seen one of my videos already, go and check them out. We've done one on Donington Prep, how we prepare, what we're looking at video analysis. Uh, we're going to be looking at data and how we analyze data. So we've got all sorts of stuff coming up. This one's not going to be too geek heavy. It's just going to be quite simple and quite brief, talking you through what is in my kit bag and all sorts of other bits and pieces about what I wear on race day. Let's do it. Okay, bye. Get back. It's quite heavy. Now, you'll notice it looks like a suitcase. And that's because I use a suitcase. Why do I use a suitcase? I don't really know really. I guess it just works. Some people use a basic bag. I use a suitcase. It's from British Home Store, £24.99. There's not a link in the description, you don't need to buy this. But one of the things I always try to do on my preparation is make sure it's clean, make sure it's tidy, make sure it's prepared so I can see if I'm missing anything. So, first things I get to pair of booties. Pair of booties, dancing shoes. So I use these. I use the Freem boots. I always try to have two pairs, at least two pairs of these. Um, so I've got a black pair, and I've got a white pair. Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I mix it up, I go one of each, if I'm feeling fruity. So uh, I really like these boots. I've had loads of pair of these over the years. Um, I just find them super, super comfortable. They're leather, so they, but they're quite soft leather. Thin sole, thin heel. So I can feel what's going on on the pedal. It gives me loads and loads of feedback. But they're also really comfortable to wear because I'll be wearing them from you know nine o'clock in the morning right very through up till six o'clock at night. So I always wear a boot that's really comfortable, looks good, looks tidy, looks neat, and performs well, which that one does. So thank you, Frame. They are magnificent. Next up we have, what else should we go for now? Let's go for hands device. So this is a slightly alternative one to the ones that you may have seen before, certainly something that a lot of people don't wear, is this one. Now this one's a Simpson Hybrid. So it's all carbon fibre, doesn't weigh a lot, and looks like something you'd use to jump out of a plane with, but they're super safe. And that's what's really important with these. These things save people's lives, as do the hands device. So this is mandatory. Everyone has to wear one of these, or a hands device, your preference. So this one, works slightly different, it goes around your body. So you put it on like a backpack, it clips in the middle, and that's it. The next thing you have are these tethers. So these tethers clip onto the side of the crash helmet, so if you're involved in an incident, your head can't go further forwards than where they will max out. So they're really comfortable, really easy to wear, slip off super easy as well. Now I like this because I just find it comfortable, I just find it easy to get in and out of the car with, and it's a bit of a talkie pot because not a lot of other people wear it. So, Simpson Hybrid, hands device. Uh, I've had this for, uh, what have I got, 2015, that goes back to. So we have these stickers on the back of the hands device. I don't know if the camera will focus. We have these on the back of the hands device, and they tell us each year it gets signed off as scrutineered. So I've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then a sticker from the Silverstone Classic when I raced that last year. So Simpson Hybrid, love that. Underwear, nothing too sexy on this, I'm afraid. I use this. This is the Valero temperature regulating underwear. Now it's a bit windy, so it looks like a flag at the minute. Super, super awesome kit this is. Now, I've been sponsored by these guys now. This will be my second year. So yes, I'm sponsored by them, but I also find it really, really good stuff. It regulates the temperature, so it stops the big fluctuations. It stops it going up, and it stops it coming down quite as drastically as you would with a standard Nomex. So it's really soft, it's really comfortable to wear, and it doesn't really matter. You could be wearing this to bed, you could wear it any way you like really, but it's super, super cool stuff. All printed up with sponsor logos, um, front and back, and it's just brilliant stuff. So I'll put a link in the description so you can check out all these guys' stuff as well if you're, if you're that interested, because there's not a lot to do whilst we're all in quarantine, is there? Okay, next up we've got the other part to the uh, tops is the long long bottoms. Exactly the same form, temperature regulating, super comfortable, super soft, and everything has to have these, again, you might not be able to focus on the camera, these little holograms here, which tell you that they're FIA approved. So the international governing body approved these as good to wear, basically, and I would agree with them. Fantastic to wear. So that's underwear. Uh, we've also a pair of uh, taut socks, Nomex socks, to protect your little, uh, your little fees, should you get a bit hot and get a bit flamey. 
So that's all good gear. Love that stuff. Now, I must add, you must never forget your sponsor cap. Sponsor cap, super important. Why do you wear it? Because it's a sponsor cap, you have to. Mine is a Valero one. Same people that make the temperature regulating underwear. So when you see me in this cap, you know that it's the guys that make my temperature regulating underwear. So I should probably put that on. Apologies about the hair, still haven't had it cut. Still on lockdown, haven't we? There we go, nice. And these guys, you, you can buy these caps as well, actually. They're uh, new era caps and they're over on their website. I'll put a link in that as well. Let's look at gloves. Again, two pairs, a black pair and a white pair. Saturday, Sunday, or again, if you're feeling a bit fruity, mix it up one or the other. Again, torque gloves. Super comfortable, grippy pads on the inside so you've got load of grip when you're on the steering wheel. They're nice and soft, easy to wear, stretchy. Uh, external seams as well, so you'll see all of the stitching is done on the outside and that's to stop any pressure points that you get on your hand. So they're fantastic, love those. Martin does a very, very good job on all of his racewear with suits, gloves and everything. So. Gloves, talk gloves, love them, big fan. Race suit. Um, again, this is from the guys Talk. This is the Talk Super Light suit. Now, this is my 2020 suit. So, this is the one I would have been wearing this year. Ooh. All embroidered. Looks really, really smart. Really cool stuff. So, all really nicely embroidered. Um, all custom, customized exactly to your measurements and your sizes. Tell this is my new one for this year because it's got the Gazoo Racing United Kingdom logo on there. So, that's all good. I love these suits. I've worn the Talk suits now for a few years and just find them fantastic. Really comfortable. And what's really important is they're super, super thin. A, because they're nice and light when they're thin, but also breathable and just keep your temperature regulated as well. Couple that with your um, base layers as well. They're absolutely fantastic. So big fan of these suits. Now, as I say, I'll always try and keep at least one spare of everything if I can. That is my, um, that's obviously this year's suit. So with all embroidery all, all up and down the arms and everywhere else like that. Last year's suit was printed. Again, it was a torque suit. And this will roll over to this year to be my spare. So my spare suit, should I need it, it will be this one. So this is my 2019 race suit. All printed, printed logos, printed legs. You can see it's got the Ginsters illustration on from all of their packaging. So if you ever wonder what that is, that's the Ginsters packaging. It's all of that all the way up and down the arms. So there's cows in there, there's all sorts of stuff. So that's really nice, really like the suits. Like I say, this one was uh, my last year's suit that will roll over to this year to be, or would roll over to this year to be my spare for the first few rounds until the next one arrives. All underwear, boots, hands device, suit, sponsor cap. What else have we got? Well, uh, earpieces. So mine are ACS earpieces. Come in this nice little black box. And these are your driver communications. So your headphones, basically. So these little numbers, I'm not gonna get too close because they're probably quite, uh, they're all right. They're custom molded earpieces. So how they make these is they put a little bit of cotton wool in your ear, squeeze uh, this silicone in your ear, set, pull it out your ears, and in a couple of weeks time, you get these awesome little numbers. Now these are fantastic. Loads of companies do them. I find the ACS ones to be really comfortable, really good. They block out a load of background noise as well, so they look after your hearing. And that just plugs into the side of my crash helmet. It's just like a phono plug. Plugs into the side of your crash helmet and goes from there. So if you ever see us fiddling, it's more than likely to do with that. So, earphones or headphones, so they're all good. Love those, big fan of them. What have we got next? Ancillary stuff. A can of deodorant, because you don't want to be stinky. Spare pair of socks, we're gonna get sweaty feet. I've got some hydration stuff. So I use i 5 zero tablets. These things are awesome. They're really, really good. It's the pink grapefruit flavor. They've got all sorts of flavors. Now I'm not sponsored by these guys. I just really, really like the stuff. And it's really, really good stuff. They're cheaper chips. I think they're about five a, five a pop for these, but they're really, really good. They kind of replace all the minerals and salts and stuff that you lose when you're sweating. So I I have these every day and just because I find them really, really good. And they just keep you alert, replenish all the salts and sweats and everything else that you lose out of those. So high five zero tablets. If I don't have these on a race day, I really struggle. I just find them to really regulate everything that I need to. I have some powder, some isotonic powder as well, but I find that to be really good. Um, the other thing for high five that I've got, these are some energy gel. You might see me have these every so often. Just a, just a gel, it's like a, a gel, obviously. So I'll have these on the grid five minutes before we start. I'll quickly get one of those down me and I just find them really, really good. They've got loads of different flavors. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just find it really, really good stuff. I always carry some protein bars just to make sure I'm full up and make sure I'm all good. So I use the uh, grenade carb killer ones. 
You've got to make sure you have a Ginster's pasty in your bag. This one's chicken chorizo and Cornish garlic. These are sublime. These are proper. I am sponsored by these guys. You know that already. So that's all my bits and pieces in my little secret compartment. I'll the following a copy of the regulations. BTCC 2020 Sporting Regs. We get tested on these, so we gotta know everything that's going on with them as well. So that's a really important thing to keep hold of. So always keep a copy of your regulations in your pocket, or in your bag even. What else have we got? We've got my little back book. You'll have heard me speak about this in a previous video when we looked at the Donington Park lap from Colin. All of the information that I carry is in this book. So anything, all my pre-event info, all my pre-event prep is all in my little black book. So that is definitely in my bag. I've got a pack of paracetamol, antibacterial hand gel, pen, uh, spare pair of sunglasses, which ironically I've, I've stolen to keep me going. But you've got to be able to clean your sunglasses. So I've got a little Goodrich sunglasses cleaner and things cleaner with a picture of the car in it. So that's really cool. Thanks, Goodrich. They're, they're really cool, actually. Memory stick. Really important. Carry a memory stick with you because you never know when you need to plug in. But if you've not got one, you'll always need one. A motor watch. Seems weird, but it's been an ongoing joke with Richard from, from, from Witham that I had one of these for years and he never had one, so he got really annoyed. So I always carry my motor watch around with me on the basis that if I need to show off that I've got one, I can do. Cooling towel, fairly self-explanatory. You drop that in uh, some cold water, wring it out, and it stays wet, or stays cool, sorry, for about 30 minutes, I think it does. So that's really good. I think I got that on Amazon a couple of years ago. But it's really good when it's really hot and sweaty. It's really, really good. And then the final piece of the puzzle, uh, which will link me on to my next thing that I'm looking at, is I'll always carry a can of Autoglim Instant Show Shine. This stuff is insanely good. It's proper gear is that. I'll also carry a little Autoglim microfiber towel along with me as well. That's cool. So that's my bag. Helmet. That's the next one. Let's have a look at helmet. So obviously your racing driver's main piece of equipment is your crash helmet. Now I'm very lucky. I have a deal with the best helmet people in the world. Arai helmets, there's nothing better than an Arai helmet. They're just the best. Simple as. Now I use the GP6RC, so it's a carbon fibre, completely handmade piece of art, really, because it's amazing stuff. The Autoglim Show Shine I always use to keep it clean. Not to keep it shiny, because for this year, I've gone for matte finish. So Joe Tanner at Rennet Design has done an insane job on this. It looks fantastic. Complete matte finish across the whole thing um, and works really, really well. I've also had it designed by MDM. So Miles Murphy, MDM Designs, he was a fantastic job at this as well. Now the colours have been something that I've always had. I've always had red and yellow. It's something that my dad did from when I was in karting. He wanted something to stand out when I was in the pack. So this is where this red and yellow triangle section came from and it's stuck with me ever since. Tingham logo on the top, number 80 on the back and then of course all of the logos. Now like I say, this is a fantastic fantastic bit of artwork is this. It's really, really comfortable. Wouldn't feel happy wearing anything else other than an arrow. And this is what I was telling you earlier on about, is where the earpieces plug into. So earpieces plug into there, that plugs into the car, so we can talk back to the team, and then there's a little microphone inside as well. So that is my crash helmet. Beautiful bit of work. Like I say, all carbon fibre, fantastic paint job. I wouldn't go without an arrow helmet ever again. So that is all my kit. That's what I have on a race day. That travels around with me everywhere I go all in my lovely little trip suitcase. So when you see me walking around with a suitcase, you know what's in there now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope it's given you something a little bit different to what you haven't seen before. Again, we've got loads of these videos coming out. Go back, check out all of my other stuff. Remember to like this video, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep showing us love, keep showing us support, as much as we're gonna do for you, because it's a really difficult time for us. We all know that it's difficult to be inside the house with not a lot going on, so we're gonna try and give you loads of cool stuff. Right, cup of tea. Let's get all of this back in here. It's montage time. Nailed it.